Okay, hummus or hummus is one of the top food trends, and here to show us how to make our own is Suzanne Husseini. She's back. Okay, Hello. so how do you say it? Hummus. 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 Okay, and this is, we're gonna do the basic one first. Basic one first. Hummus means chickpea in Arabic. Yeah. The whole dish is called hummus bitahini, which means chickpeas with tahini, but we shorten it to hummus. Okay. So if it doesn't have chickpeas in it, what you're making, it ain't hummus. Okay. Okay, okay. that's my deal. Before we do this, you have to soak your chickpeas. Dry chickpeas, tablespoon of baking soda, which will help it break down, and then cold water. Leave it overnight on your counter and forget about it. In the morning, rinse it, fresh water, Boil it, cook it, and there you, you, you've got the base to start real good hummus. Okay. It's as easy as that. You can use a can. I'm not against yeah. cans, but this is so much better. Okay, trust to know. Yes. Okay. So we've already done that. Mm -hmm. We've cooked, we've started, we've put some chickpeas or hummus inside here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to add lemon juice, the main ingredient, one of the main ingredients, garlic, and not a lot. I have a friend that put six cloves of garlic and told me, why is it so garlicky? I said, well, there I mean, go. really, the garlic should just be a little kiss, not hit you on the head, okay? Right. Which, Salt, that, you just that was tahini, I'm tahini. sorry, yeah. tahini. Yeah, okay. If it doesn't have tahini in it, it's not hummus either. Those are the main ingredients. You know, simple dishes are sometimes hard to recreate for a lot of people because they're so simple, but that's it. No olive oil. How many of you put olive oil in your hummus when you make it? Yeah. Ah, oh, no, 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 not change. allowed, not allowed. Okay, so let it go, okay. let it puree, mm -hmm. and let it really get creamy to the consistency of cake batter. Okay. Okay, that's hummus. And how long, when you make it, how long does it stay? Uh, to, to, you mean for it to blitz? Or well, to stay in the fridge? Stay in the fridge. Um, you know, two, three days. It doesn't okay. really last a day with right. me. Right. And you should cook it warm. It's made to be eaten warm and room temperature. Wow. It should never see the refrigerator. Really? I know. I'm changing everything right yeah, now. Yeah. I but know. You mean, you, but, but to store it, you need to put it in the refrigerator. Put it in the refrigerator. But when you're going to serve it, put it at room temperature. Make it on the same Look day. Look how thick that is. Yes. Delicious. And creamy. Yeah. Okay, so now, I garnish a little uh, bit with see. some chickpeas, no a little here. bit of paprika, which is very traditional, yeah. and then this is when you use your olive oil. Okay. So you drizzle your uh, olive oil, buy a bottle of the best, the best that you can afford. And then okay. Wonderful. And then I, I made some pita chips myself, and then fr uh, vegetables. Yeah. I surely don't have to tell you how to eat hummus. It's okay. glorious. Okay, so now you're going to show us three variations. Yes. The first one Quick. is beet. Beetroot, so it's still the same base. This is roasted uh, beetroot that I've roasted in the oven. I've uh, shaved it, and I'm just going to add it. Now you can certainly puree it, but I like the texture going through my hummus. You can see it yeah. starts to turn really pink, mm -hmm. okay? So it's a real retro dip all of a sudden. Okay, and it's really nice, and it gives it a nice, sweet, earthy flavor. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's then great. your regular hummus. And I'm going to put it on this beautiful right on that plate, plate here. Yep. Uh, These are plates that are all have calligraphy on them, so it's just... They're right. Now watch this become very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> You're not kidding. Oh, yeah. You're not kidding. Right. All right, and I've now, got a few beet chips here, and again, Finishing touch, on the always oh, olive oil. Okay. This is what mellows it and turns it into something fabulous. Okay, okay. next one is the textured hummus with spicy garnish. Yes, and it's called msabbaha. Hmm? Okay, which msabbaha in Arabic msabbaha. means swimming. Okay. So the chickpeas are swimming in hummus. That's what it's all about. Okay? Mm -hmm. So again, I'm going to take my base hummus, okay? And I'm going to place it in this bowl this time. I'm going to make it a little rustic. And then I'm going to take chickpeas here that I have cooked. Okay, that's kind of small, here. big. This, I'll just have a spoon. spoon? Uh, okay, this is fine. Okay. That's yeah. fine. Okay. There's cumin in here just to give it a little different flavor. I'm going to put the hot chickpeas on top of oh. the hummus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then this is a tahini base, which is tahini lemon juice and garlic, basically what was in the original hummus. And then this is a dressing made with jalapeno peppers, garlic, lemon juice, and a little bit of parsley. So you can imagine what this is gonna taste like. A couple of uh, jalapenos just to let your guests know, and again, a bottle of the best, okay? okay. You never forget that.
Beautiful. So that is Yitabaha. That and, is beautiful. Yes, and while we're moving along, yeah. I actually toasted chickpeas in the oven if you'd like to try those. This is what my mother I, used I to will, make for I will, us. I will later. I will. Okay. If I do, I'll start right. spitting out food. All right. The show. <laughs> anyway, it's yeah. there. Yeah. I never ate chips Thank as a kid. You. That's what I had. Perfect. Our very last dish is something called fettit hummus. Fettit implies that there is a bread component in. And the, oh, no, no, it's not. It's the one with short ribs. Pardon right, me. Right, right, right. Okay. So what I've done is same hummus here. That's your and hummus. this is braised short ribs. Mm. that's been cooked in pomegranate molasses and pomegranate juice. I'm going to mound that on top. And this is sort of an appetizer or a first course that you can eat with meat. And we do eat hummus with meat. This is not unusual. Okay. And then you. we um, garnish it with toasted pine nuts. Uh -huh. And because there's pomegranates, I'm going to let you know there's Beautiful. pomegranates. And a little bit of green. It's like that little black dress that yeah. needs a little kick right there. Right, right there. Gorgeous. And then again... My olive oil. Yeah. And then you can eat this, certainly with bread, but it's made to be eaten with a fork. Ah, oh, okay. So you okay. can eat it with a fork, forego the bread at this point. So what is the last thing you're going to make for us? The last thing is called fettit hummus, which is that bread component that I was talking okay. about. And it's actually a savory parfait. So I start with Arabic bread that I've sliced. I fried it. You can certainly bake it, but fried is better. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're the croutons that are the base of this dish. And this is a play on hot and cold. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. texture. Mm -hmm. And this is a breakfast dish that we would eat for breakfast. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, I do it this way. Certainly my mother never used to make it this way, but you know me, I break the rules. Yeah. And your I break okay the rules. And my mother's good with that yeah, yeah. for sure. So what do you A little bit there? of lemon juice and garlic because I want that flavor to go down to the bread, but I'm not mm. trying to make it soggy. Okay. It's still going to be crunchy. Uh huh. Okay. And then again, I go back to my chickpeas and they have to be hot. Remember, hot and we're going to put on something cold. So you're playing with with hot and cold. So the chickpeas goes on top. You can imagine this as a beautiful breakfast dish to nourish your body, yeah. feed your children instead of that darn cereal that they're addicted yeah. to. Right. I say less cereal, more of this. Yes. This is what we ate as children. And this is a combination of uh, a little bit of garlic, not too much, yogurt and tahini in okay. here. So we've got nutty yogurt because of the tahini as a result of that. Mm -hmm. That goes on top and it's that becomes the it. sauce. What's in tahini? tahini is 100% sesame seeds. Okay. If you see anything else inside that tahini jar that says anything else, you walk away. Okay. 100% sesame seeds. All right. And then nuts are an important component in any dish that we do in the Arab world. Mm -hmm. We love nuts, and it adds a nice, sweet, buttery crunch. Yeah. Okay? Those and we don't nuts? stop there. Pine no. nuts. There's pistachio nuts. And there's a little bit of almond. almond. Okay, yeah. and a little love always in yeah. everything you do. And Aww. I sometimes like to instill that through pomegranates. And of course, again, a little green. A little accessory. A little accessory. Suzanne, thank and you, you so eat that much. With a spoon. All these recipes are on Maryland Dossier, courtesy of this lady, Suzanne. Thank you. Thank you. So delicious. Thank you. I can't wait. Thank you. We have to take a break. We'll be back right after this. Awesome.